Good day, grade 7! Welcome to our PE class. Our lesson in third quarter PE 7 is about developing fitness through Philippine folk dance. Let us identify the content standard. Performance standard. And most essential learning competencies. For the review, let us recall the different locomotor and non-locomotor movements. You only have 5 seconds for each item. Ready! Number 1. To spring on one foot and land on the other foot. Number 2. Series of walking steps executed quickly in any direction. Number 3. To spring on one foot or both feet and land on the same foot. Number 4. A step and a hop with the same foot in one count. Number 5. Long, the step, and short, the landing. Number 6. To lengthen a part of the body. Let us check if all your answers are correct. 1. Leap 2. Run 3. Jump 4. Gallop 5. Slide and 6. Stretch In folk dance, locomotor and non-locomotor movements are also used. To better understand and appreciate folk dances, let's go through our lesson. Folk dance refers to dances created and performed collectively by the ordinary people. It is a dance genre which is primarily performed for social functions by people with little or no training usually to traditional music, which is a product of inherited tradition and passed from one generation to another. One of the most important part of folk dance are the fundamental position of arms and feet position in dancing. Fundamental arm position. First position. Raise arms to a circle in front of the chest. Second position. Open up arms sideward. Raise below shoulder level with a graceful curve. Third position. Raise one arm overhead while the other arm remains in second position. Fourth position, raise one arm in front of chest in a half circle while one arm remains overhead. In fifth position, raise both arms overhead. Fundamental feet position. First position, heels together toes apart with an angle of 45 degrees. Second position, stride sideward of about a pace or one foot distance. Third position, heel one foot close to the inset of the other foot. Fourth position, one foot in front of the other foot about a pace distance. And fifth position, bring the heel of front foot to touch the toe of the other foot. Here is the picture of fundamental arms position with coordination of feet position. Activity. Based on the discussion, take a video or photo of yourself while performing the fundamental position of the arms and feet. Number 1. Execute the fundamental arm position. Number 2. Fundamental position of the feet. And number 3. Fundamental position of both arms and feet.
we are done with the important background about folk dance. It's time to know deeper about Philippine folk dance. Philippine folk dances reflect the culture of Filipinos wherein women are respected and it shows the modesty of Filipino women. It begin and end with a saludo to show courtesy and respect. Philippine folk dances may also be divided into regional, which refers to dances particularly to one local or area, and the national, which refers to those performed all over the country. Philippine folk dances are diverse and include religious, ceremonial, courtship, funeral, combative, exorcism, torture, comic, and game dances. They have been named after saints, heroes, or teachers, foreign steps or dances, their countries or region of origin, events, tries, Philippine steps, a combination of steps and or places, and a combination of words. Let's move forward to classification of folk dance according to cultural origin. Most provinces in the Philippines have their own identifying folk dances wherein they showcase the elegance and beauty of the way they do. The things, the way they dress, the way they see things as shown in different paintings as they have been influenced by various events that happened in history. There are five types of folk dances in the Philippines, namely Cordillera dances, Spanish-influenced dances, rural dances, Muslim dances, and tribal and indigenous dances. Cordillera Dances. These are dances of the Kalingas, Ifugao, and other ethno-linguistic groups of the Cordillera Mountains. Dances to celebrate victories, festivals, religious ritual, thanksgiving, and other things. Musical instruments include nose flute, bamboo, guitar, drums, gongs, and wooden sticks. They are known for their distinct costumes such as G-strings and tapis and grounded movements which are reflection of their daily routine. These are some examples of Cordillera dances. Spanish influence dances. These dances are a reflection of Spanish culture merged with that of ours. Named after the chief female character of Jose Rizal's No Limitangere, Spanish influenced Filipinized by the use of bamboo castanets and abanico. From the costumes alone, you can really tell whether it's a Spanish-influenced folk dance or not. 
For the males, they wear the Barong Tagalog and for the female, they wear the Maria Clara of different elaborate designs. These are some examples of Spanish influence dances. Rural dances. These are dances which reflect the true spirit and character of the Filipino people. Dances illustrate the fiesta spirit and love of life, best known type of Filipino dance. Dance attire. Girls, colorful balintawak and patajung skirts. Boys, Camisa di Chino and Colored Trousers Here are some examples of rural dances. Muslim dances. These are dances of the exotic southern part of the country, characterized by vivid colors and rhythmic movements which reflect the influence of Arabian and Indo-Malaysian cultures. They mirror the character and colorful culture of Muslims as seen in their discreet expression and brightly colored silk costumes and shimmering costumes. These are some examples of Muslim dances. Tribal and Indigenous Dances These dances are of tribal origin. They reflect the culture and ways of a specific tribal group in any point of the country. They may be from Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao. Tribal dances perform essential for the gods, ceremonial, and ritual type dances. These tribes pride themselves in their concepts of beauty and are known for creating colorful sets of jewelry including out of dyed pineapple and banana fibers which are showcased in their traditional dances. These are some examples of tribals and indigenous dances. Moving forward is another important thing to know. It is about the basic rhythm of folk dance. Two four-time dance steps have the following basic counting. One, two, one and two, 
N1, N2, 1, 2, N. I will execute the 2 for time and try to follow the rhythm. Ready? 1, 2. 1, N2. N1, N2. 1, 2, N. 3 for time dance tests have the following basic counting. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 for 2 measures. I will execute the 3 for time and try to follow the rhythm. Ready? 1, 2, 3. Speaking of basic rhythm in folk dance, there are several examples of 2 for time dance steps. Here are the following examples. Blacking steps, change steps, close steps, half steps, touch steps. For the next slides, try to execute the different examples of 2 for time dance steps. Let us begin with blacking step using the step pattern. Heel place, count 1. Close, count 2. Change step using the step pattern. Step, count 1. Close, count end. Step, count 2. Close step using the step pattern. Step right sideward, count 1. Close step left to right, count 2. Half step using the step pattern. Step right sideward, count 1. Half right in place, count 2. Touch step using the steps pattern. Point, count 1. Close, count 2. Basic rhythm in folk dance also have three four time dance steps. Here are some examples. Waltz, cross waltz, kuradang. For the next slides, try to execute the different examples of three four time dance steps. Let us begin with waltz step using the step pattern. Step right sideward, count 1. Close left to right, count 2. Step right in place, count 3. Cross walls using the step pattern. Cross step right over left, count 1. Step left sideward to left, count 2. Step right in place, count 3. Kuradang using the step pattern. Step right, count 1. Close left to right, count N. Step right, count 2. Cross left, count 3, step right, count 1, close left to right, count N, step left, count 2, point left, count 3. For the activity entitled Philippine Folk Dance, you are going to identify the different folk dances listed on the left side on the marked places of the Philippine map on the right side.
To develop fitness through folk dancing, you will do this activity. Warm-up dance exercise. Execute the following basic steps of folk dance. Don't forget to get your heart rate before and after the warm-up exercise. Do the following. Touch step, close step, half step, change step, kuradam, change step with arms in lateral position, change steps, arms in reverse T position while doing kumintang clockwise. That is the end of my presentation. I hope you learned something about developing fitness through Philippine folk dance. Here are the references that I've used in doing my presentation. Photos used here are from Canva. This has been your teacher for today, Mrs. Cynthia Soledad S. Asper. Thank you for watching my video lesson. Before I end, let me share with you the quote that I've got from E. Common Whirling Dervish Proverb. God respect you when you work, but He loves you when you dance. Keep safe always!